Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Inyanas Academy. So guys, from our previous video, we have been learning about the Nikola Tesla's 369. That is the like the rule of 369, where Nikola Tesla followed these three numbers. Like these three numbers are nothing but the superstitious numbers. Like these three numbers, 3, 6 and 9, this governs the physical world at a quantum level basically. So guys, uh, like I have made a playlist where you can find this uh, 369 theory, I have divided it into the three parts. You can click over here on the top right corner. So guys, this 369 rule, I'm going to relate it to the string theory. Also recently, I have made a video on the string theory. So while learning the string theory, I came to know that this string theory somewhat obeys the law of 3, 6 and 9. Like guys, there is a hidden code embedded in our universe or universe follows a strange pattern regularly. So that is nothing but the 369 code. And guys, trust me, Mr. Nikola Tesla also followed this uh, pattern of 369 throughout his life. So like while entering into a building, he used to take three rounds of that particular building. He used to live in a hotel room. Uh, the number of the that particular room will be divisible by 3, 6 and 9. He used to keep 18 napkins with him. Also, he used to calculate the exact amount of the food that he is going to consume to uh, to obey the law of 369. So guys, uh, over here, in this particular video, I am going to relate this 369 rule to the string theory. Like I have made a list of 5 basic points uh, that I considered like these points are worth sharing with you all. So guys, please do watch this video till the end. And if you are new over here on my educational channel, Ingenious Academy, kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon. So guys, whenever I upload a new educational informative video, you will get instant notifications. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic. That is nothing but the 369 along with the string theory. So guys, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video on the string theory, you can click over here on the top right corner. Well guys, this particular string theory relates to the quantum world, the microscopic world. And this particular string theory says that our whole of the universe, like it, it particular, uh, this particular whole of the universe consists of a tiny small particles or tiny filaments, which is known as the strings. These particular strings are nothing but the, like the bits of the energies which continuously vibrates at a certain frequency which continuously vibrates at a certain frequency to make a new particle so this is nothing but the uh, like the basic fundamental principle behind the string theory and now guys i am going to show you the five basic points of the string theory that obeys the 369 law so first one over here in the string theory guys we have learned like uh, there are three fundamental forces at microscopic level so this is nothing but the strong nuclear force weak nuclear force and electromagnetic force so guys over here we are saying these are the three fundamental forces so over here number three which we can relate it to the three six nine rule alongside with that the second point is over here is like uh, in our microscopic world as well as macroscopic world Everything consists of an atom, whereas atom consists of three fundamental particles. These three particles are nothing but the proton, neutron and the electron. So again, number three over here. If we go for at a further microscopic level in the nucleus, it consists of the proton and neutron and in the proton, it consists of a quark. Basically, guys, quark is the building block of the whole of the universe. And this particular proton consists of two up quark and one down quark. Again, it consists of three subatomic particles. It consists of the three fundamental particles, basically number three over here. Also, if we considered uh, in the case of neutron, it consists of a two down particles, two down quarks and one up quark. Again, number three over here. So guys, over here, the number three is continuously repeating at a quantum level as it means at a microscopic level as well as at the macroscopic level over here guys i hope you are understanding the significance of number three over here the next point that is the third point is that so when we look at the elementary particle like this particular fermions are 
having the three generations basically so this is nothing but the top bottom charm strange up and down so over here guys these are nothing but the three generations of the fermions or else over here the three generations of quarks in the second uh, case over here the leptons leptons is also having the three generations so these are nothing but the electron muon and tau alongside with that there are some neutrino particles that is nothing but the electron neutrino muon neutrino and tau neutrino these are nothing but the anti particles of this electron muon and tau so basic uh, matter particles or we can call it as a group of fermions consist of 12 elementary particles so over here if we add on 12 that is 2 plus 1 the number results into 3 so guys over here we can say that this building blocks of the universe these elementary particles uh like they resulted they always resulted to the number 3 so guys over here we can say that number 3 is embedded or else it is hidden in our whole of the universe point number 4 is that like uh, if we study the higgs mechanism so guys higgs mechanism says that the higgs field is equally distributed along with the over the universe basically just like if we this particular higgs mechanism is like uh, is equals to the analogy of water basically so over here guys the water is the fundamental requirement of our human life so water consists of h2o two hydrogens plus one oxygen so over here again the three important uh, like elements are considered to made up the water so guys again over here number 3 so that is not a, just like a coincidence in the string theory in a higgs mechanism in the analogy of water that is not at all a coincidence like always there is a hidden code embedded in our universe so guys this is nothing but the uh, uh, like analogy of water or we can so call it as the higgs mechanism just like so there is always the like a hidden code is embedded in the universe so that was our fourth point guys and the last point is that in the string theory the strings are continuously vibrates to make a new particle it vibrates at a nine spacious dimensions basically over here guys number 9 is the omega number and whenever it vibrates a new universe gets created just like we have seen in the string theory uh, like the law of parallel uh, universes like we have seen so this strings or this particular filaments continuously vibrates in nine spatial dimensions basically guys over here number 9 is prime number or else omega number that we can relate um, that we can relate it to the 369 rule so guys uh, in the geometry there are 12 degrees of freedom like uh, like x y and z minus x minus y and minus z and it's clockwise and anti clockwise directions so these are nothing but the 12 degrees of field freedom if we add 2 plus 1 it always results into 3 which is corresponds to the nikola tesla's 369 rule so guys over here guys the this particular degrees of freedom we can relate it to the filaments of the energies that is nothing but the vibrating bits of the energies we can relate it to the filaments so guys this particular 369 theory we can see the traces of 369 theory in the string theory as well so guys nikola tesla died on 7th january 1943 but this particular string theory like it discovered after the death of mr nikola tesla so guys mr nikola tesla he was futuristic and he was ahead of his time so guys i hope you like my video i hope you understood the traces of this 369 theory into the string theory so basically guys that a uh, that was a brainstorming topic so i hope you like that particular topic if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy cuz guys ultimately your subscription motivates me to make more of such educational videos so guys thank you so much for watching this educational video keep supporting me and keep subscribing thank you so much